Well, let's see if we've got any honey to go. I don't know. We're going to have to look at some of these anyway. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Heck, that's a bit excited. They didn't like that. Don't think they like us. Do you blame them? Not really. This one's got some honey. Look at that. Oh my goodness, Harry. So here's some nice fresh season honey. I'm going to leave her out. The girls have got it stuck in there a bit. Heck, they're getting excited now. Um, look at that. You can see it's nice and ripe because I've capped it all off. But it's not overcooked. So that's going to be gorgeous. So you want this, see this is all nicely capped now. But it's not over thick because I'll keep putting more and more wax on it. But I haven't got one in here. But you can see when they when they haven't got that coating on but the honey's in there. It hasn't actually been finished, so it's still a bit liquidy. So you've got to wait for them to finish actually capping it off, and then the, they, then the honey's ripe, ready for going. So the moisture content should be okay under your 18. Shall we do a look at that one? That's an older one, but looks pretty good. I reckon we'll steal that one off them as well. These frames were brought down here the other uh, fortnight ago. They're nearly full. So that's pretty good. There's just a little bit of unripened honey through the bottom here. So we'll leave them with them for a little while. We'll tidy, tidy them up a bit by taking these ugly couple of frames off the end. Oh! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Because of this slightly different of course you can't put it through the extractor. Well what I have got is a sieve at home and I just put it in a container, which is an old yellow bucket which is very high tech, and sit it above the sieve and just break it up a little bit and it just drips through and it's beautiful because it's like supernatural. Hasn't even got dizzy. Oh, oh, oh. So if you've got bees at home and you haven't got an extractor, don't despair, you can just you can do what I'll show you what you can do. The same as you can just cut off the bit of honeycomb out of your little hive if you haven't got all excited and bought a flow hive. And so you can get all the honey you'll ever want to eat. Just like we're going to do this honey. Oh, have a look at that. There's some beautiful fresh honey. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, they're hard work, eh? was a beekeeper even though he, and they used to say he could talk to the animals but he was one of the first beekeepers and he wrote a book called a year in and out of the apiary and it's really quite cool it's not like in modern beekeeping we do things a bit different but what he's what his ideas were were pretty cool because you can still do them today with a lot less stress so there you go, so he was a real person, Dr. Doodiddle. <laughs> Poor unfortunate ladies, we put them back to bed, I don't think they're happy. <laughs> Gosh. Not happy, Jan.